everybody and welcome back to the new adventure so we are first in line this morning for the ferry to go right. to Fort Fisher North Carolina the ferry leaves from Southport North Carolina and we're first in line because we, we missed, missed the ferry <laughs> we got here at 8 30 and it leaves sharply at oh sharply 8 30 sharply sharply so do not be late for the ferry or they will leave your behind behind <laughs> takes what 30 minutes and uh, yeah. once we get to Fort Fisher we got to get a pass to get on the, the beach park hey it was seven dollars by the way for our big old truck to get on the on ferry. ferry so if you have a car I think it's even like four or five bucks it's cheaper it's not bad it's not pricey so then we're gonna get a ticket once we get to Fort Fisher to get on the beach then we'll be able to drive on the beach now if you're going on the beach you have to have a couple things you have to have a four-wheel drive vehicle obviously you have to have a shovel to dig bring, yourself we out we do now let me just let me just put a little disclaimer in here just a small one my dad was out here last summer and he got stuck real bad and we made a ton of fun of him a ton of it so if I get stuck I have to eat a lot of crow now we have done this before so we do a have a lot some, we have a lot of experience in this but even the best of the best can get stuck. It's sand. You just, it's, you know. And we have a very heavy truck. But the deal with it is you need to air down your tires. Uh, they say below 15 to 18 PSI. Um, we have a fairly wide wide tire on the truck. We take it pretty low. Um, we're not going crazy. We're just kind of creeping on it. So we'll get down around 15 to 12 PSI in the truck. And then you got to air back up when you get back on the road because you have extreme low tire pressure. Um, so is there a place on the island or did we come back across last time? I can't time? remember. I think we're going to have to get on the ferry with the low tires, come back across and air back up on, in Southport. We'll let you know about that. So we made it here to Fort Fisher, got off the ferry, took a left. Taking a right takes you to the end of the island. So we take a left, come down here to the Fort Fisher Visitor Center. When you get here, you got to go inside the two-story building and get your pass. They sell a weekday pass for $20, a weekend pass for $30, and a year pass, which ends on December 31st for, I believe, $75. So you go in, get your pass, and they give you a code to get on the beach. There's a drop gate on the beach, and you have like a four or five digit code, and that allows you to access the beach. I believe the code changes daily, uh, and then they have a code for yearly pass members, so they get their own special one. Um, so they get a little tag that hangs from your mirror, let you get out on the beach. So again, once you're out on the beach, you're pretty much on your own if you're stuck, unless somebody helps you out. They do have wreckers that come out on the beach, four-wheel drive wreckers. I believe they're a couple hundred dollars to get you out. So be prepared, be ready to get yourself out if you need to, or to beg for help and use whatever you got to get help. Um, so it's one of those things where if we see somebody, we try to help them out, but be mindful, you might get yourself stuck in that. And then again, you're on your own, so now you're stuck too. So um, let's get out here, get on the beach, have some fun and enjoy the day. So be careful when you're driving on the beach, watching out for other vehicles, oncoming trucks, Jeeps, stuff like that. Um, be mindful of the drop off on our left going down to where the high tide mark is. Um, it's quite a big drop. So we've kind of backed trucks up there for and use the tailgate as like a shade. This year we do have our awning, we'll be able to use that as well. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. So this is gonna be a fun trip. We're just glad to get out here and have some fun. And hopefully we get out, have fun, get back, and everybody's safe.
So that was a failure, but that's what I wanted to see. Uh, a couple years ago, we bought the this thing's called the Noah's tarp, and it works awesome for little to no wind situations. Uh, we're on the beach with a high wind; it doesn't work good at all. Um, but our awning, the ARB awning, seems to be holding up very well. And I just wanted to see a comparison of the two of them, how it's going to do comparably. Um, the Noah's tarp is a little cheaper; it's a little more mobile. You don't have to have your truck near you, but it's a little it doesn't work as good, I guess we'll say. Um, a lot harder to put up, too. You know, it takes about four people to put this guy up compared to the two people or one person for the awning. So, I'm definitely a fan of the awning. This is only helping support that. Um, thank you, ARB, for a pretty solid piece of equipment. So we're gonna try retuning the truck. We're having some slippage or it might be a speed sensor. It's something going on with the transmission where if you're riding along in cruise control, it kicks it out of cruise control, the speedometer drops out, then it comes right back. Um, I don't know if it's a tuning thing because the truck does have custom tuning on it or if it's something with an injector going on, I'm not sure. So we're gonna try putting it on a street tune instead of the towing tune and see if that reflashes everything and hopefully that'll fix the problem. So we'll see what happens. And it should give me some better fuel mileage in the process. the old forts. There's some cool hikes down to some different forts, but just be careful to watch out for the wildlife. Pick it up, Dad. I gotta get by it. Well, that snake don't look like it is. It looks like it is poised for action. Okay, go ahead. I'm filming. Hey, get on out of here. Michael, you about to get bit by a snake. Oh well, my goodness. What do y'all want to do? Let's turn around. Let's go back. It's an oak rope. Well, do we have a stick or something we can? No, let's just go. Let's just run. Just run. Do we have a go? Woo! Ah! Ah! Hallelujah. Okay. Hold on. Finding stickage. What kind of snake is this? Says snake. It's a um, snaggedy snake. I'm gonna snake. run over here. Um, rattle back. Get behind me. I'll protect you. It's a rattle no, back. I don't want y'all. 
I want to push it backwards, not towards you. Uh huh. That's why I said get behind me. The rattleback copper moccasin bay. It's gonna strike. It's gonna strike you. Oh. Ah! Come on, come on. Okay, come on. Let's go. Hustle. Find me quick. Go. Ah! That thing's clapping through the bushes. Yeah, I forgot about. That's a serious spider web. He lived here. I can't remember the store. Look at that. Get a crab on the wall. Spider on the wall. Ah! There's a crab on the wall. But why would he move against? And we just want to go back by. We just want to mind our own business. Excuse me. Come here, man. He's like, nope, I remember that big guy. I remember that big guy. Come on. Go, guys, let's go. He's gone again. everybody thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed our adventures to fort fisher north carolina don't forget to hit like and subscribe and we will see y'all next week on the, the new, new adventure, adventure.